Where are we at, babe? It's the Extreme Games. X Games 2019 is about to begin. journey down here we actually had a car uh, a four car pile up including a semi truck We're here safely. We're not smashed up, so I'm grateful for that. And uh, I can see the half pipe right now. It looks pretty amazing and coated in powder. So it's going to be interesting, but it's going to be fun, as always. All right, so this year we're going to show you a little bit more of the behind the scenes at X Games. Coolest thing about X Games. It's an experience unlike any other. The athlete hospitality, uh, the venues, everything is just enunciated. It's ex exclamation mark everywhere. And uh, there's a reason it's one of our favorite events as athletes because they take such good care of us. The uh, athlete lounge is pretty much the dopest zone on the planet. And uh, always the courses are on point. So yeah, here, check it out. We're gonna go check in and then we're gonna show you the athlete lounge. I'm pretty sure I'm the only athlete at registration that gets to sign their children's book <laughs> for the ladies helping us out. And then we have an additional athlete lounge pass. Would you like to give that to your support? For this guy, I guess. There we go. Sometimes Ooh. I'm important and I get to hang He's out with the going athletes. in the lounge, folks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome to the athlete lounge. This is the quietest it'll be all week. They set us up with all kinds of good nutrition, lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever you want. Obviously plenty of beverages around, plenty of places to chill. You can play video games if you want, which isn't really my style, but I might try it out. Um, they usually have spin bikes in here. There's like, there's like a massage chair and a barber. None of that stuff's here yet, but a little bit later in the week, I'll show you all the amenities that come with the app. But here you are, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Because I didn't know what you would want to do. You're the guy, you're the boss when it comes to ski tuning. These are pair one. Uh, I broke the binding. Is it the one inserted, right? Yeah, we inserted these and I broke the binding at due to it. Right. But they're still pretty, the bases look pretty good. I didn't know if you wanted to run good looking bases with potential Subject to potential binding problems. So this is my, gosh, it's gotta be cl coming close to 10th X Games. And my first one was in, actually the first time I got invited was in 2009. And then I decided to blow my knee that year. So missed that one. Um, and then backed it up, luckily got invited the next year. Came out, made finals, pretty stoked crashed all three runs in finals because I was overly uh, nervous and then that f the year the interim year between then was when Alexander and I got married and Nayeli was born and everybody thought the, my career was over they were like oh he's got a kid I wonder what's gonna happen now and uh, actually for me that was the best possible thing that could happen because 
all of a sudden I realized that life's about a lot more than just skiing. It's about a lot more than this game I play on, on a pair of skis and a half pipe. And uh, I realized if I was taking good care of my family, if I was being a good dad, my wife and my daughter didn't care if I landed my runs and won the contest or not. So I just went out there and I had fun. I enjoyed it. I was out there doing what I felt like I was made to do. And uh, that was my first win. Nayeli was this big and uh, I got to bring home my first X Games gold medal. This year, I am going for my fifth X Games gold medal. So uh, yeah, big year. X Games A2, here we go. right as well yeah. I think certainly takeoff is good you travel down more yeah and definitely land here I felt almost a little missed time like on the actual takeoff okay. because it's so slow yeah, so slow. yeah. I feel like um, it kind of looks like you're pulling the whole way around yeah like no power or not yeah pulling the whole way around. no I want to be able to like just steep it out so That's you guy behind the lens not the people of the world the guy behind the lens can get your snowboard on because we're going to do follow cam lap next run all right let's do it all right one thing you guys might not know about me is that i used to really struggle in competitions i'd land 10 runs out of 10 in practice and then the lights would go on the cameras would be there the pressure was on and i would choke and uh somewhere along the way i realized that i was just putting too much pressure on myself and i kind of stopped enjoying it i wasn't having fun and uh, one night on a very similar night to this, the snow was coming down and I was struck by just how beautiful it is and how fortunate I am to be able to do this for a living. And uh, I just reminded myself to have fun. And I went out there and that was my first X Games win. And so ever since then, I think the thing I noticed the most is that I was, when I dropped in for those runs, I wasn't feeling pressure, I was feeling opportunity. I was excited. And uh, one of my little traditions to remind myself to keep having fun is to end every practice day off with an old school run where I just do goofy tricks the whole way down and uh, enjoy it. So, here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Last words to the camera. Oh, you know, we're wrapping up day two of uh, practice. I still have yet to do a single double. Uh, actually, if you were to count it, my run tonight had only one of five tricks that I hope to be doing tomorrow. So, obviously I got some work to do, but at the same time, you can't force yourself to do tricks that you don't have enough speed for. That's how you get hurt. So, I enjoyed myself and we're gonna wrap it up. See you guys tomorrow.
Oh yeah! Good job, baby! Woo! And he stomps it! Woo!